Welcome back guys. Today we're changing the transfer case oil in this 100 series Land Cruiser. Now this video is going to be applicable to all the 100 series as well as the Lexus LX 470s. So stay tuned, we'll show you how to do it. And you might notice a bit of a change in scenery. We'll explain that later in the video. Let's quickly run through all the tools and parts you're gonna to need to do the job. Grab yourself a drain pan that can do about two liters. You're gonna need a torque wrench that can do 27 foot pounds or 37 Newton meters. A socket set with a 24, 12 mil socket, as well as a flat headed screwdriver. You need two of these fill and drain plug gaskets from Toyota, and there's the part number there. In terms of the oil, you need 1.3 liters of a SAE 75W90, which is API GL4 or five. So we've chosen this one from Penrite. The Tom Thumb pump is really handy and helps us get that oil up into the transfer case and then we've got some safety glasses, some gloves, a bit of paper towel and a bit of braking parts cleaner to clean up any mess. As always remember to chock your wheels before you jump under your car. Now the transfer case is located here behind the gearbox and behind this cross member. There's a bash plate here that's held on by three 12 mil bolts that we're going to remove and that's going to give us better access to the fill and drain plugs. Now we can pop that over to the side. We're gonna to need to put that back on later. So now you've got a lot better access to your drain and fill plugs. Now it's best to do this job when the oil's warm or when you've driven the car. What we're gonna do is start by removing this and there's two reasons for that. If you remove the drain plug first and then can't remove your fill plug, you risk getting into a situation where you can't fill your transfer case back up. Now removing this one first also allows air to come in and for that oil to flow out a lot easier. So grab your 24 mil socket and we're gonna crack both plugs. Right, those are both finger tight. So now I'm gonna move my drain pan and undo these. So you can see that old gasket on there. Make sure you remove that. And that's where the flathead screwdriver comes in handy. You can put that plug aside because we're gonna reinstate that later. Now do the same thing to your drain plug. Just watch out because you will get oil coming out now. You'll notice that there's a magnetic tip on the end of the drain plug and that picks up any metal fragments that might be in the oil and gives you an indicator of where within your transfer case. That one's not too bad, so I'm not concerned. So same as the other one, we'll clean that one up and put it over to the side. So we're down at Omega Works today, which is a brand new self-service garage that's just opened in Wangara, north of Perth. These guys have everything you could possibly need to work on your car, including hoists to suit any vehicle. They've even got tire changing equipment, parts washers, hydraulic presses, sandblasting gear, transmission jacks, engine cranes, and all sorts of other specialty gear you could possibly need. They can even help you sourcing parts and four wheel drive accessories. So check them out on Facebook or Instagram. Now that it's had a good chance to drain out, I'm gonna give that area a bit of a clean with some rag or paper towel. Then I'm gonna grab my drain plug with a new gasket, and reinstall that. Then I'll grab my torque wrench with the 24 mil socket and I'm gonna set it to 27 foot pounds or 37 Newton meters and tighten that plug up. So I filled up my Tom Thumb pump, which I'm gonna to use to get the oil in, but I'm just gonna give this plug a quick wipe before we start pumping it up. So I'm going to put the end of the pump in through the fill hole and I'm going to keep pumping 1.3 litres of a 75W90 until it starts to dribble out through this hole. Now when it comes to disposing of your old oil, you can take it to your local auto parts store or if you're somewhere like Omega Works, you can dispose of it through them for a small fee. Once you're near the 1.3 litre mark and you're on your second bottle, it's a good idea to have your fill plug ready to go with a new gasket so that you can pop that in as soon as oil starts to dribble out of that hole. And there it is there, it started to dribble out, so I'm going to grab my fill plug and reinstate that. You're inevitably going to have a bit of mess, so just grab some paper towel. And then we can grab our 24 mil socket again and torque this one up to 27 foot pounds or 37 Newton meters, same as this plug here. Then we can grab that bash plate again with the 12 mil bolts and reinstate that. So obviously using your 12 mil socket again, I'm gonna nip them up and then I'm gonna come past and torque them up with a torque wrench. The correct setting for these is 21 foot pounds, which is 28 Newton meters. So 
So that's it for today. Thanks to the guys over at Omega Works for letting us use the hoist. It definitely makes these jobs a lot easier to do. If there's anything you want to see in a future video, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.